Hello, this is Eds. So today we're gonna be um, reviewing or doing a reaction about this young boy from the Philippines where I came from too, where um, he speaks like 18 languages. So I brought my husband with me to um, do a reaction about this. So here we go, let's play, play it. And I'm 18, so. and I'm, today I'm going to speak in 18 languages. So this one now is Tagalog, of course. <laughs> Pakilala muna ako sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Marlon Ramos, labing walong taong kulang na. At uh, purong Pilipina po ako. At uh, ipinanganak ako dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, dahil dito ako ipinanganak sa Pilipinas. Natural lamang na nagsasalta na ako ng Tagalog. Ang wikang Tagalog ay ang ginagamit sa pang-araw-araw kong buhay. At uh, ang pag-aaral ng iba't ibang lingwahe ay aking naging paboritong gawain at kung paano ko sila natutunan lahat ay aking tatalakay ngayon. So what he is speaking right now, he is speaking a real deep Tagalog. Mm. Yeah, that's because as, as you can notice, uh, he speaks like I, you know. I is like a, like a very formal a form of um, the language which is the, the Tagalog, basically, because it has the... Normally, we speak like with the I if we're speaking it like in a formal thing. Mm -hmm. Unlike now, we're like speaking in Filipino where it is a, a combination of different languages, you know. So... Spanish, I, English, and Tagalog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think Filipino, if... Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Filipino is the national language and tagalog is a dialect which is spoken basically uh, by uh, the uh, you know people in luzon so let's continue so the first one that he spoke was tagalog, tagalog. now let's go to at the age of six i was taught the english language english. it is the second language of the philippines and so we were taught english the English language here in the Philippines in like in the first grade and up to college I think so that is why I think English is a language that I'm most comfortable speaking with because you know I've studied uh, a lot of years so what do you think he speaks a real a good accent good accent yeah at the age 12 he already studied English and he's been studying languages for me, I, I'm still struggling <laughs> because I admit this is not my, uh, although we were taught like uh, English while we were still young, but we don't speak it in the house. We only speak it in the, in, in the school. Actually, we were about like, we have to pay 25 cents. I remember that we have to pay 25 cents whenever in our English class, that we have we should be speaking straight english so if we spoke a little tagalog or any you not find we have to find like 25 cents that was the day then so until now i'm still traveling i'm i'm already here <laughs> and so like what what is that you know that's I went to it. it and i could speak with any english speaker in the world i think Learning languages wasn't in my mind, and it's like it's the last thing I could do. But at the age of twelve, I knew I wasn't contented with only two languages. Okay, so this time he's kind of be speaking Spanish. Empecé a aprender idiomas extranjeros cuando tenía doce años, y el español fue el primero. Pienso que la razón por que decidí de aprenderlo era cuando miré una película de la biografía de nuestro héroe nacional, José Rizal. La película estaba en filipino y español y en ese momento me dije que me gusta el sonido de la lengua española, pues voy a aprender ese idioma. Al comienzo tenía dificultad en la gramática porque, a diferencia de Tagalog, el español tiene muchos verbos y tiempos que no entendía, pero seguía con determinación de aprender ese idioma. No tenía un libro ni una maestra para enseñarme, sino tenía solo un cuaderno y el internet. Pero el vocabulario es muy fácil para mí porque los, los españoles, los castellanos, colonizaron nuestro país por tres siglos. Ahora la lengua filipina tiene muchas palabras okay. similares yeah, con understand. el español. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you're just looking at it. 
Yeah, I'm listening to him to see what he had to say. Okay. I'm in the middle of learning Spanish myself, so it was good. And Spanish is a base language of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. It's the one that was thrust upon you when the Spaniards took possession, if nothing Yeah, else. you know more about our history than me. Yeah. Yeah. So you're happy actually, to get English teachers in the 1900s. Yeah, actually, I was studying Spanish in when I was in college, but when... We were uh, when um, in our um, taxation taxation class. We learned that you know we were under Spanish, and then I mean we were already under Spanish then for four hundred fifty years. And then when they said that you know all the lands that you could see would be yours, and they were not um, educating the Filipinos, you know, so that that's why lots of Filipinos don't have their own lands. Everything went to the Spaniards at that time. That's why I stopped learning Spanish because of that taxation <laughs> class. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. 450 yeah. years in a convent, 50 years in Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> See, ahead. I still have to figure that out, what that means. <laughs> Quando right. finite lo, lo spagnolo, mi ho detto che voglio più imparare più lingue. Allora ho cercato attraverso dell'internet che sono le più facili da imparare. E la... Allora ho imparato l'italiano. La grammatica italiana è molto similare con lo spagnolo perché sono in stessa famiglia di lingue. Sempre parlo con i miei amici per aiutarmi a praticarlo. Ci sono volte quando i miei amici mi dicono che io vado pazzo perché parlo in molte lingue. Anche ho avuto un amico italiano da Napoli che ho incontrato per Facebook. Mi aiuta sempre con il mio italiano, sempre correggi gli errori grammaticali che ho fatto. That was good. That was good. I can pick up a little bit. 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 I Mais le plus difficile pour moi est le prononciation. Je serai présent, il est terrible. Alors je, je pratique toujours ma bouche pour que ma prononciation s'améliore. J'écoute toujours des chansons de Kenji Jirak et je les aime. Mm. So what, okay, what did he say? He said, Now that you have studied a little French. Yes, well, what he had learned after the Spanish, the Italian was fairly easy because it's just an accent change and an emphasis on the end of the words in a lot of cases. That's what he was saying. When he switched to French, it was still very similar to the Spanish. Mm -hmm. So it made it easy for him to learn. By then it was his fifth language. And once you start to see the similarities of the Romance languages, they become easier and easier. This next one is Portuguese, which Portuguese. is going to be very so similar I like, I like what to Spanish. So I like how he um, wrote it, Portuguese in English, and then the... The accent mm -hmm. portugues. Portugues. Ok. Agora eu vou falar português. Uma vez quando eu estava assistindo vídeos no YouTube, eu encontrei um music video e a canção estava em português. E fiquei surpreso que eu posso entender as letras. Muito fácil de aprender e realmente ir uma língua do espanhol. E agora eu, eu posso falar com brasileiro e portugueses em mensagem somente, mas eu não posso falar pessoalmente porque não há muitos portugueses aqui nas Filipinas. Very so similar to Spanish. Sim. German. Um, okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay, how do you say that? German. Germanisch. Germanisch. Yeah, Deutsch. 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 Mein Kopf ist Deutsch. Es ist sehr schwer, um zu lernen. Aber ich sagte meinen Geist, dass ich Deutsch lernen kann, wenn ich will, so ich die deutsche Grammatik lernte. Und dann lernte ich, dass keine Sprache ist schwer, wenn man resolut und begeistert, um eine Fremdsprache gut zu lernen ist. Jetzt kann ich Deutsch sprechen. Ich habe immer Gespräche mit den deutschen Sprachen. Ui. Hm. Okay. Oh, so they are different? Deutsch gelernt, für die in Print mean, hat in Netherlands. Netherlands. Yes. Gemacht, like it's in French, like it's in Englisch. Netherlands is French. Dus ik probeerde het in, so ik flimmy. vond het zo leuk, ik gebruik dwellingen om het te leren en ik, skeel, en ik speel in keer per week, 
and you can express it with neurons if it's more, more uh, it sounds like uh, German. fluent. Now, Africans, Africans. This will be interesting. Now, Africans. This is my liefling tal that I learned. Dutch. I, I learned oh, it's not like Africa. <laughs> Afrikaans. <laughs> Afrikaans <laughs> is a Dutch power before the British took over. The is from Engels and from Deutsch and from Nederlands. I think that it is more that the makkelijkste taal in the world is. I like that. I like that. Afrikaans music from the David Wasserfalls and Brendan Papers. Do you think he's reading it? Mm, don't know. Esperanto is the right, international so language. Blended so what's that? Uh, Indonesia. Now this ought to be interesting. Ini saya belajar bahasa Indonesia karena itu adalah tetangga dari Tagalog. Banyak kata dalam bahasa Indonesia yang lebih terkenal karena mereka dalam keluarga keluarga yang sama bahasa. Banyak orang dari Indonesia membantu saya untuk meningkatkan saya bahasa Indonesia. Mereka mengajar saya beberapa bahasa gaul, kata-kata dan kadang-kadang saya mengajarkan mereka Tagalog terlalu. Ada juga banyak orang di Filipina yang yang sedang belajar bahasa Indonesia juga. Jadi kadang-kadang saya berbicara dengan mereka. Yep, root language of the Philippines is Indonesia. Indonesian. Indonesia. So what is this one? Svenska after so that that lot of back at all sexy. Jag upptäckte detta språk när jag hörde en låt från Veronica Mazur. Sången heter heter Hyd norr. Svenska är det enda skandinaviska språket som jag vet. Jag hoppas att jag kan lära mig dansk eller norska en dag. Oh, you might be Norwegian. Russian. Russian, this ought to be good. Tavaric. He's got a good accent. Я изучал русский язык, потому что когда-нибудь я буду любить ездить в Россию, и я думаю, я думаю, что Россия прекрасная страна. Romanian, that ought to be interesting. That's a different Um, it's a multi-quinte. Very short, huh? Korean. Korean. Here this we go. This is one I want to learn. Korean. <laughs> Korean. Great. Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know my new in a Marlon, in a Apotis Filipinas, to in a Ibanag, a Philippine language. I think this is his native language. Oh, he's from so the Thanks for watching.
I hope I have said the right words, and if I have made mistakes, I'm sorry. I'm not really fluent in all of them. So it's just a practice. So thank you very much. So what can you say? I would say he's got a good future as a translator. Yeah. UN or working for business. Mm -hmm. He should apply himself very much in the use of the languages. He would be very much in demand and also get a business education to back yeah. that. I think this was done like three years ago and he's already got like a million views about that. And he and, and I look at his uh, channel, he only had three, vi three videos. Mm. Yeah. So, but when I look at all, you know, all the comments, some of uh, a lot of them are already uh, inviting him to attend to these uh, conferences. But the thing is, I don't know if I had he had already been to any of these conferences, because he, you know, I'm not saying you know, because the uh, economy or you know, the basic Filipinos there, you know, cannot just go somewhere you know around the world and it depends just to attend on the conference his financial ability mm -hmm. whether he has the funds yes. also being able to get the papers passports and visas to all different countries mm -hmm. some are easier than others yeah. but using his language skills it would be easy for him to get a sponsor yeah. or at least easier and putting it forth like this a lot of people are going to see it yeah. and if he is able to be reached it will allow him to make the connections that he needs carry him around the world yeah. and overcome any shortcomings he might have. Let people sponsor him. Yeah. So guys, uh, I've, when I saw this video, I thought of this, you know, this kid, so like he has really a bright future. So hopefully um, those uh, who would see this video of us about this, you know, um, what do you call this? Commentary. Um, commentary or reaction video about this. Hopefully a lot of people will be able to invite him and then, you know, in, the, in this conference says, because uh, what do you call this um, different languages? This is his first time to vlog about this uh, languages. Um, Multilingualism. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a different. But anyhow, hopefully, um, guys, um, you see this video of us and hopefully we can help him, you know, um, um, reach his goal. Of whatever he wants to be it's like multi-language or exposure trust. yeah give him more exposure it's not just hopefully with this you know uh, internet um, YouTube's everything and I think a lot of people already shared this video so we're doing this for more exposure for him right so thank you guys this is Ed's see you again later bye